Hope you guys trust them here. And Scream 6 is fucking amazing. It's so good. And um, I would have worn the whole Ghostface outfit, but I don't have one that fits me. So I'm just going to wear the mask. <laughs> I would have worn the whole outfit. But I, I can't. I just got the mask. Maybe for Scream 7. Because hopefully they make one. But um, Scream 6, there's going to be spoilers in this video because I want to talk about this movie, man. I love it so much. Um, if you have not seen this movie yet, yeah, so there will be major spoilers for this movie. So if you have not seen it yet, I definitely recommend not watching the rest of this video. You gotta go see Scream 6. Um, so yeah, yeah, guys, spoilers in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Holy shit, this movie was amazing. And, um, uh, I guess we'll talk about the Sydney Prescott thing. So yeah, Sydney is not in this movie. Um, and actually, I think it was still a awesome i think they did a very good job with the sydney stuff and they actually came up with a very good reason as to why she's not in the movie i was actually 100 percent fine with it it made a lot of sense gail says i talked to sydney she's getting mark and her kids to a safe place so i was like okay that works i'm all right it's sorry it's getting sweaty in here <laughs> but um i thought they handled that pretty well but yeah so i think it actually i mean i i hope she is in scream 7 because I'm saying that like as a matter of fact, they're gonna make it. I'm sure they will. They got it right. They, there's definitely gonna be a scream seven. Um, but yeah, Sydney. Um, I hope whenever the scream franchise, you know, ends, which I don't, I'll watch as many as they make. But I hope Sydney is there. Um, but uh, yeah, but yeah. Let's get right into it. So Samara Weaving is actually the first kill, which I did not expect that to happen because I I really like Samara Weaving and. I, <laughs> I'm wearing this the whole video, bro. I have to. But Samara Weaving, she's the first death. And fucking Flash Thompson from the MCU kills her. And I was like, oh. Because, like, he, he takes the mask off. And I was like, damn, we already know. I was like, there's no way it's in the whole movie. They wouldn't just do that. But, yeah, rip Samara Weaving's character. She's dead. Um, But, uh, yeah, she got fucked up. She got stabbed a bunch of times. And then the, he's watching Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. And I really appreciated that because I love Friday the 13th and I like that movie too. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. Um, and it was just so awesome. And they need to make another part. Come on, Jason needs to come back. And, but he f opens the door and I think what his name was, Greg. His head's just in the fridge. And that reminded me of Friday the 13th Part 2. Whenever, uh, what's her name? Fucking... Alice opens her fridge door and Pamela's head there and then Jason kills her. It reminded me of that. Because then after he opens the fridge, Ghostface is there and he kills Flash Thompson. I know he's not Flash Thompson. I don't remember his name in this movie. But he's vulgar and dead. Um, I want to talk about Gail real quick, by the way. So, Gail Weathers. Um, she almost dies. And I went into this movie thinking if she died, I would be so devastated. Because I was devastated when they killed Dewey last movie. And thank God Gail did not die in this one. But they, she comes close. She gets So she's like on Ghostface. And dude, he stabs her with a glass shard. Like in the torso, upper rib cage area. And I was like, oh no. I was like, Gail's gonna die. But she didn't, thank God. They said she. They, the paramedics come in. She has a pulse. I was like, yes. I was like, thank God that she has a pulse, because you cannot kill Gail Weathers. She gets punched in the face again, though. Jen Ortega punches her. Uh, Tara. And Tara and Sam are great in this movie. Um, and there's there's Hallucination Billy again, like last time, which was fun. I'm fine with that. I love Ski Ulrich, so I was completely fine with that. Him showing up again, I was like, all right, let's go. Uh, and with the hallucination thing, because, you know, Sam is his daughter. Um, but I guess, um, let's talk about some kills. I, the shotgun shoots that guy. That was cool. You get the guy getting stabbed in the nose. That was kind of cool. Um, you've got the girl in, on the ladder. She falls and just bonk. She's dead as shit. Um, a lot of, a lot of kills in this movie. I feel like there's actually quite a bit of kills. I, I'm not sure. Is this the movie with the most kills in the whole series? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Oh, and let's talk about Kirby. Kirby is in this movie. She's back, and I love her so much. Kirby's awesome. 
Um, and there was a part where they start to make you think maybe she's Ghostface. And I was sitting there like, movie, don't do this. You're better than this. If Kirby, if they would have went with that, I would have been like, oh, no, the movie fell apart. <laughs> but, dude, I love Kirby, and I was so happy to see her back. And But, yeah, if she would have been Ghostface, I would have been like, what? But she was great in this movie. And, um, yeah, she shows her scars. They talk about screen force. She's like, Charlie gave me these. That's her scars. And, but, yeah, she's just great. I hope she's in Scream 7 She because she survives again. I was worried she was dead, though, because she gets stabbed. Wait, no, she does live, right? She gets, she's alive at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, she got stabbed quite a few times, and, dude, there was that part. I, so the core four, Sam, Tara, Chad, and Mindy, love them all. They're all great. Um, but Chad, dude, he get he gets stabbed a bunch of times, and I thought he was gonna die. And he's probably my favorite of the core four. I love Chad. He's so funny. He's just great. I just love him so much. He's so amazing. And dude, he gets stabbed a bunch, and I was like, "You can't do this to me, movie. You can't kill Chad." And thank God he pulled through too. Him and Jenna Ortega get together, and but um. Yeah, if he would have died, I would have been devastated. I would have been like, no. As soon as he was getting stabbed, I was like, all right, movie, I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> you can't kill Chad. He's awesome. Thank God he's alive, and he'll be in Scream 7, hopefully. Core 4. Um, Yeah, this movie's just great. And the shrine, dude, they, dude, the shrine was awesome. That was, like, my favorite thing. They had everything, dude. They had the robe that Stu had on at the party at the end of the first one before all the shit goes down. They had Jill's outfit there. She was one of the killers of Scream 4. They had, dude, literally everything. The dude's jacket, uh, the cameraman in the first screen who gets his throat slit. They had fucking Stu's shirt was there. Or not Stu, Billy's shirt with all the blood on it. And I think... Thing. Oh, and they and they do all the masks from the other killers. So they talk about Roman Bridger, and I always love that because I love when they do callbacks and stuff. I love when movie series is all feel connected and they all have that shit. So it was just really cool. I was like, yeah, like when they talked about Roman because I rewatched all the screen movies before I saw this one, and I was like, it was just so cool. It's like, yeah, Roman Screen Three. Yeah, they talk about Mickey and. The, um, uh, Mrs. Loomis, because you see her outfit in the shrine, like, and they had the TV that killed Stu was all broken. They had the same knife that Kirby was stabbed with, because she's like, that's the knife they stabbed me with. And also, the ghost face reveal was okay. I would, th that's like my one gripe with the movie. The ghost face reveal at the end was just kind of, yeah, like I didn't hate it. It's just not the best ghost face reveal because it's Quinn who you supposed to think is dead. I think Ethan and that cop guy. And they're all related to Richie from last movie. So that was kind of cool. You know, they're all related. And it kind of reminded me of, you know, Billy's the killer in the first Scream and then his mom in the next one. It's Richie's the killer in Scream 5 and, you know, other people too. But Richie and then his dad and siblings. So that was cool. I thought that was cool. But yeah, that was kind of cool. But yeah, the ghost face reveal is all right. And then they get fucked up. though. He, she stabs him in the mouth and then they push the TV over him. Like, still. And then they shoot. Quinn gets shot in the head by Sam. That was cool as shit. And then the guy she stabs the shit out of him and stuff and the stabs on the eye that was fucking cool man but yeah i love this movie i thought it was awesome i love scream i love scream six and the manhattan setting was awesome i loved it i think i got everything i'm trying to think if there's more that i want to talk about but if i forget some i'll comment about it hopefully i didn't forget anything and i like the new mask too i thought that was cool but i just love this fucking movie man i love this franchise i can't wait for scream seven and I'll watch as many goddamn Scream movies as they make, man. I'll watch every single fucking one. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys thought of Scream 6. I just loved it. And thank God Gail lived. I love Gail. Hope it. Can't wait for you to be back. And Sydney. Sydney. And maybe Mark. Where's he been at? I know they're married. If Sydney comes back, Mark should too. That'd be awesome. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys thought of Scream 6. I love this movie so much. I thought it was awesome. I'm going to give it four and a half stars. Or maybe five. I'm not even going to lie to you. I think this is my favorite movie of the year so far. I've seen four, my three again, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Cocaine Bear, and now Scream 6. And I think this is my favorite of the year so far. But yeah, guys, please just video like. Please subscribe to y'all and check out some other videos. And I've got one question for you. 
What's your favorite scary 